It's Tuesday, October 16th, 2007. I'm James Kotecki, and this is Playbook TV. We start with a few quick money shots. First, the official third quarter financial reports are into the FEC, and Politico's own Jean Cummings reports that although Clinton raised the most money, she's tied with Obama for the money they can spend in the primary. Each has about $32 million. Second, the other shoe dropped for Hillary Clinton today, with the LA Times reporting that her campaign refunded over $800,000 to two 249 associates of alleged con man Norman Shu. Third, pop quiz. How much did Romney for president spend on coffee in the third quarter? The answer coming up at the end of the episode. But for now, let's move on from money to China. Some people want to trade with it. Some people want to start World War III with it. Either way, you can't ignore it. As top Chinese communists meet to reappoint party leader Hu Jintao and to promote younger party members, USA Today reports that President Bush and congressional leaders are scheduled to meet with the Dalai Lama on Wednesday to award him the Congressional Gold Medal. China is not happy about this because the Dalai Lama stands for a free Tibet and China stands for a Chinese Tibet. In retaliation, China has pulled out of talks on Iranian sanctions that also included the U.S. and says the medal ceremony is in gross interference in China's internal affairs. For his efforts, the Dalai Lama has promised President Bush that when he dies, on his deathbed, he will receive total consciousness. So he's got that going for him, which is nice. Finally, Hillary Clinton joined the ranks of Nancy Pelosi and Danny DeVito by appearing on The View yesterday. The Politico's Ryan Grimm reports that the appearance was basically a love fest. Aside from one question about terrorism, she mainly got a lot of softballs. But she did say that her top three presidential priorities would be Iraq, diplomacy, and the middle class economy. She notably did not mention health care. My question to you, Ryan, is did you have to watch a lot of other episodes of The View to really get a feel for the show and write an accurate story? Because if so, so that is some truly heroic journalism, my friend. Well, that's it for today's hit. Check out politico.com slash playbook for more exciting stories, including a hard-hitting look at cheeseheads for Obama. And don't worry, I didn't forget about the Romney question. If you guessed that the Romney campaign spent $9,297.33 on coffee in the third quarter, you are right, and we are happy for you, right here on Playbook TV.